Hey, what's up guys, and today I am going to be doing a guide on the insanely high damaging defensive hero, Junkrat. Alright, so Junkrat is a very high DPS character. However, he has quite low health, so you have to be careful on how you use him. So, pros and cons are he has insane DPS, however, he trades that off with low health so if you get caught out you can very likely be screwed however you have an ability that makes it a bit easier to get out of those situations all right so on to junkrat's abilities junkrat's passive is total mayhem meaning if you die you drop a series of bombs that is able to kill a lot of characters including characters up to and around 250 to 300 health I love this passive. This is by far my favorite passive in the whole entire game because it's just so satisfying when somebody kills you and then you die dropping these bombs. Most likely it's an offensive hero like say Reaper or Tracer and they stick around too long and those bombs explode underneath them. It's happened so many times and it's so, so satisfying. All right, <clears throat> on to his shift. So his left shift is a high damage explosive, basically it's like C4, sticks to anything you stick it to, but it has one cool perk, you can use it to escape, and you'll see me here use both of those features a lot, I'll drop a bomb on somebody, then just like that, um, drop the C4 and explode it, not only pushing me away from that person, allowing me to drop more bombs onto them, but also damaging them for, I think it's around 200. This is an insanely good tactic, and as you'll see throughout this clip, it's my main combo as a um, junk rat. Alright, now moving on to his E. His E is a very interesting ability. It is the bane of any hero that relies on movement. For example, Tracer. Tracer hates this trap. The second any offensive hero gets stuck in this trap, you can basically kill them. And what's nice is basically every tank you can also kill once they get stuck in this trap. Because it holds them in place and it deals mods amount of damage. And you're able to just bomb away with your basic attacks which do insane amounts of damage. Alright, so on to his ult. As you just saw there, I had a major fail with my ultimate, but uh, I make up for it later. And so, what does his ult do? It's a 100 health, insanely high damaging rip tire. Basically, you can drive it for, I think it's 8 or 10 seconds around the map. It can climb walls by um, the same way that Hanzo climbs walls or Genji uh, jump and hold the space bar. And this enables you to basically kill anything in the whole entire game, even Roadhog. And just be careful of Reinhardt's shield or Winston's shield or Zarya's shield because all of those will be able to tank this shot because shields take any amount of damage from one source. As for example, if you put a D.Va ult, a Zarya shield will tank it or a Reinhardt shield will tank it, no matter how much damage it puts out because it's instant damage from one source, not like tracer bullets because there's multiple of them. So just be careful of that. And remember that your rip tire can clear points. That is something a lot of people forget. They go for two or three kills, but they're not on the point. It almost makes no difference then because you want to be able to capture the point or the cart. Okay. Now on to Junkrat's combos. I was talking about this earlier. The main combo that I like to use is I like to either stay back and just shoot my primary fire, or if people get close to me, I like to shoot one or two grenades, then drop my concussion mine right in front of me, hit that, and so not only will it knock back the enemy, also dealing damage, most likely killing them if I had landed one or two shots like I just did there. Um, it also will blow me away, bringing me to safety, letting me deal with other enemies, or finishing that enemy off. 
The other combo I like to do is I like to simply just come and flank behind teams and again right click. Alright, so now on to the tips and tricks section. Um, always use your E to cover a flank and put your concussion mine on top of it because you can always put your concussion mine somewhere else if it's not being used there. So this will enable you to either, if it gets destroyed, let you know that somebody's there and you can cover that flank, or if somebody gets trapped, any hero 200 health or lower is insta-killed because you just pop your concussion mine. And any hero higher than that, you know they're there and they're trapped, so you just shoot, lob some grenades over there and they're most likely dead. Another thing is, like I said earlier, remember your rip tire can climb walls. Just be careful of shields when you explode it. And one neat little trick that I like to do is stay on the high ground. He is so good at shooting down, however he sucks at shooting up. Which leads us into our next section, counters. He sucks at hitting anything in the air. For example, I would say his hardest counters are Genji, Pharah, and anything that can really lock him down, so McCree and Roadhog again apply here, but you can easily outplay any of these characters except for Farah. You have to be quite careful there. It depends. You can rocket yourself up into the air with your concussion mine, or if she gets close enough to the ground, just throw your concussion mine in the air and blow her up, or you use your rip tire. So there's many ways to outplay your counters with um, Junkrat. That's why he's such a good character when mastered, because there is almost no stopping him. That's why I really love him. He's one of my most played characters. So on to his, like, good matchups. Any support? Anybody who doesn't have a very good movement ability. This includes, um, Hanzo, because I don't really consider his climb that great of a movement ability. Bastion, he's great against any stationary things, Bastion, or Torbjorn turrets. So, that should wrap it up, I'll just let this gameplay finish out. I really hope you guys liked this video, if you did, please leave a like and comment on which hero you'd like to see next. And until next time, peace out.